Well, we're going to end 2019 with a bang. We're going to end the year with the biggest challenge I've ever faced since the birth of this channel in 2007. I'm talking about the redesign of the Pontiac Aztec and not the front, which I did earlier this year and we'll link up here in the corner and down in the description below. No, we're talking about the rear here. So if you're new here, welcome. What I do here is taking existing cars and modernize them and at the same time hopefully make them look cool. That's what we're going to do in this video as well. We're going to take the design of the Pontiac Aztec and somehow by some divine intervention redesign it into something less catastrophic. Now if you go on Google and type in ugliest car in the world chances are extremely high that you'll see the Aztec pop up in most lists or articles. <laughs> If it's a top 10 list, for example, it's likely that you will see the Aztec positioned somewhere in the top three or something like that consistently. And this in itself is pretty remarkable. It's really amazing and in a way, I'm actually impressed. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but the design team that was involved with the Aztec of the time seem to have nailed every single universal checkmark of what an ugly car is. You would think that maybe someone somewhere along the development of the Aztec would go, okay, let's just pump the brakes for a second here. Is this really what we're going to go with? And as I said, this has been probably the most challenging redesign I've ever made on this channel. And believe me, the struggle was real with this one. Three days and about two gallons or so of coffee later, I think I've reached a point where I can say that I'm done. I'm done with this Aztec and I never want to see it again. I can't tell you exactly how many times I restarted completely with this redesign. I would work on it for a few hours, have be very confident that I could solve this issue. Then I would stop and look at it. Notice things aren't really working out the way I thought they would. Try to work on it some more in hopes of being able to kind of turn it around but end up leaving the desk in frustration with no intentions of ever trying it again. But then an hour or so go by and I come back to the computer. I turn the screen back on and guess what? There it is again. It's the Aztec proudly exposing its behind like a slap in the face. So of course I have to give it another shot and then another and then another. I wasn't gonna let the Aztec win. In fact, I feel like the Aztec it needs me, it needs my help, so I can't give up on it. So I didn't. Days turned to night and coffee turned to tea. Still, I was trying to figure out the lines of the car and how we can solve this problem that is the entire design of the car. There are a lot of problems with it that makes it harder than any other car to redesign. First of all, whenever I redesign a car, I want you to be able to see that it's a modernized or an updated version of the original car. And this means I'm not just going to sketch up a four-door SUV and make it into some boring generic design because that would kind of be like taking the easy way out. No, I need to have the Aztec DNA intact. It needs to still be recognizable as an Aztec. So this of course brings up the question, what exactly makes an Aztec an Aztec? 
To me, the single biggest problem with this car is that it has absolutely zero line continuity. It looks like it's actually two completely separate cars stacked on top of each other with no connecting lines. The bottom half looks like it's an entirely different car than the, than the top half. And this is only the first problem. The second problem is the proportions of this thing. It looks like it's about to tip over on the side just sitting there. It looks like the center of gravity is actually three feet above the roof of the car. The top half consists of big simple surfaces while the bottom half is as random as the waves on the beach on a windy day. And this creates an instability in the base of the car. And what this does visually is making it look like a solid building that was built on a foundation of sand. And this of course is no good. So what do we need to do to fix this car in this redesign? What do we need to do to fix these issues? Well, we need to simplify the lines of the lower half. We need to give the top half more structure to rest on. My idea is to take the simple surfacing of the top half of the Aztec and have that design language stretch down to the rest of the car. This way at least will give some line flow in the design and make both halves of the Aztec look like they've actually been designed together. And the Aztec to me is all about graphical elements. From the windows to the headlights and taillights, the absurd plastic pieces in the bottom half, these are the design features that makes it what it is and sets the Aztec apart, for better or worse. But I respect that. I respect the fact that Pontiac wanted to do something completely different at the time. It even comes with a camper package with a built-in tent in the rear. I mean, how cool is that? So I didn't just want to leave all these unique design features and turn it into a boring generic SUV. I wanted to keep the overall shape of the graphical elements, but the key point here in this redesign is to make all of these elements play along better together. And that's the challenge that took about three days to figure out. And I'm not even sure at this point that I have everything figured out, but I think the end results look better than the original. And most of all, I don't get a headache when I look at it anymore. There's still a lot of quirkiness in this redesign and th those are the things that I didn't want to get rid of. I wanted to add some of that as well. So for example, the rear bumper, the rear window, the weird shoulder line that you have with, with the crease being inverted from what you normally see on cars. I wanted to create a more fluent greenhouse as well and decided to merge all windows into one piece instead of having the third side window being a separate part as we have on the original. This to me creates a better flow and more importantly makes the car look more solid. Like it's made out of and molded out of one solid mass instead of four or five different masses scrambled together into one. And since it's supposed to be a rugged SUV I felt that this little change even though small I think it's, it's an important change to make. Overall, I'm happy with how this redesign turned out. I'm glad it's finally done and over and I don't have to do it again. If you go and watch the front redesign I did of the Aztec way earlier this year, you might notice that it doesn't necessarily look like the same car that we have here. And the reason for that is I feel like I've evolved in my own design language and how I produce these videos. And that's the reason why they might differ in, in style. But go ahead and check that video out as well. And let me know what you think. It's linked down below in the description. All right, that's about it for this time and for this year. As always, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering in this video. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I'll see you in the next one and in the next year. Take care.